Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another episode of my player. It's episode number six. Now I've made a couple of changes to uh, to my pro's appearance. You uh, you guys asked for an untucked shirt in the previous episode in the comments, so I have done that. You asked for new boots as well, but unfortunately we haven't unlocked the opening uh, boot pack. So the only ones that are available are like the default EA Sports one, and they're all horrible. So we've left it as is. Now I'm recording this literally straight after the uh, the Chelsea Aston Villa game. So obviously as a Chelsea fan, you may imagine that I'm a little bit uh, unhappy right now. So so uh, we'll have to wait and see if that portrays or comes across in our performances in the next couple of games. As you can see, we've got Crawley next, but uh, a quick first, a quick review of uh, of the four fixes that we've had so far at uh, at Sheffield United. We didn't reach the minimum expectation of an average rating of 9.0. We only got 6.2, although of course uh, we were still learning how to uh, to hold our position in game, etc. When we uh, when we don't have possession, uh, they wanted two goals from us. We got three, so that's fine. Uh, maintain a goal conversion rate of 28%. We've only got 18%, so we haven't met that one, and we didn't get any assists because of course uh, the other goal. And uh, our other assist came in the uh, in the cup, not in the league. So uh, we have to pick up pick our performance level up in uh, in league footballs. But uh, of course, you can see we've got Crawley and then Gillingham. Uh, the uh, they want us to reach a minimum expectation of 8.7 in uh, in this one. So a little bit better, a little bit more achievable than before. They want me to score one goal in these four games. So fingers crossed, we can do that. And also, they want us to maintain a goal to shot conversion rate. Of 24%. So I'll we'll have to wait and see whether we can do that. But let's jump into this next game now against Crawley. As you can see we've been selected. Uh, you'll presume again alongside Jefferson. But we'll find out when we get into the game. So as you can see then we are up front alongside Jefferson this time in a 4-4-2. It's the uh, first game that we've played alongside Jefferson. So I'm not too sure how, uh, how good he is or how well we're going to play alongside him. We've been playing alongside Billy Painter for the majority of, of our time at Sheffield United so far. I'm also going to try and put a little bit of in-game audio in the background of this one. It's something you guys requested in the previous uh, episode as well. So I'll try and get the audio level sorted for that. Let me know in the comments if uh, you like that addition to the series or if you'd rather... Uh, you know, just have silence or maybe uh, a little bit of backing music. I'm not too sure. I'm not really too sure whether music would be apt for a series like this. But if you enjoy having the uh, the uh, the noise in the background, the game sound in the background, then let me know and I'll continue to put that in for the foreseeable future. It's a lovely ball from Hill into Jefferson. We try and work something here. I'm going to call for the ball and we'll get it. Try and play it around the corner and then make a run off. I'll call for it over the top. He's found me and we're onside. It's a decent first touch. Got a man on my back. Try and stand it up for Jefferson. I've overhit the cross. Not the best of crosses. Crawley could be in here, break down this left hand side. The referee's. What? The referee's given a penalty. What for? You can only presume it's his shirt tug. He's booked him. I don't know what Hill's been booked for there. Is it was it just a shirt tug? The first the first pull was outside the box and he's given it for the second one. Well, looks like we might be going one nil down early on here. Twentieth minute, twenty second minute. It's Matty Tubbs to step up to take the penalty. Obviously a fantastic striker for uh, for Salisbury when he was in the non league. Moved about a bit with teams in the football league and he's hit the post, he's missed. We're still in this game. Can we get it clear? Just get rid of it, please. No, don't kick it against Dicker. Get rid of it, clear it, hoof it, just jump a spamming B, get rid of the ball. That's a lovely ball inside the fullback. Torres breaking down, Sergio Torres in. Oh my days, that nearly went into the top corner. What a strike, reaction, finish. And that's how we're going to go in at half time. So an uneventful first half, to be completely honest. Nil-nil away at Crawley. And uh, hopefully we can come out better second half. They're bringing on Billy Painter for Jefferson, so hopefully we can create something up top now because Jefferson's been jeffing awful. Honestly, he's been so bad. There's no link-up play between the two of us at all. He's just not the player that we were hoping for. So fingers crossed, Billy Painter and I can strike up that relationship again. Xbox, stop listening. Stop listening. Bloody connect thing. Pull for ball over the top. Bring it down nicely. Strike it across goal. I tried to strike it across goal at least. It kind of went straight to uh, towards the goalkeeper, but never mind. Can we uh, can we get the ball back off them quickly? Decent slide tackle. No, they're going to clear it. Or are they? No, I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Bad jokes. Lovely ball. Billy's in. Billy. Billy. Billy! Oh, they just don't pass it to you, ever. I call for the ball constantly. It's why I've got such a. I always get such low ratings. I call for the ball and they just delay, delay, delay. 
then pass, or even pass to someone else completely. I'm on a 5.5. I've constantly been in position. It's just me calling for the ball and then just not bothering to pass to me. My teammates, for some reason, even though I've scored three goals in the five games we've played so far, teammates don't appear to like playing with me. Go on, Billy. Go on, then, Billy. Oh, react. My guy plays the pass and then just stands there for ten minutes. Oh, we've got the ball again. Oh, it's a nice turn. Can we finish? No, shot blocked. We're in. We're in. We're in. It's 1 0 Sheffield United. We've got our fifth goal of our career, boys. Oh, that's so fortunate that the ball fell back to us after a disappointing first shot. But it's all of that. That turn. That turn made that goal. That was absolutely spectacular. Oh, we needed that. We've had nothing. We've been feeding on scraps all game. So fortunate there that A, the ball fell back to us, and B, it wasn't a foul, but a clinical finish. And that is exactly what we needed to hopefully pick up all three points in this game. So we're going to take away a 1-0 victory from the game away at Crawley. Pleased to, uh, to actually get three points out of that, considering uh, we really did not threaten whatsoever. That is a smash and grab, I believe is the phrase. We've snatched all three points there. I don't understand why I'm only getting like 6.5 ratings. I'm always in position. It's so hard to get high ratings on this. On this game right now, in this game mode, it's really starting to wick me off because they want they want 8.9s and 9.2s, and it's just it's not it's not physically feasible because I'm always in position. I call for a pass, it doesn't give me the pass, and then knocks me down when I'm in loads of space, etc. It's just really starting to uh, to get on my uh, get on my tits, to be completely honest, because it's not fair on us to keep getting marked down for you know trying to call for the ball and trying to instigate something going forward. So fingers crossed. Uh, the game will just kind of leave me alone for a little bit and let my let my rating stay as high as possible because we need to get a high rating. We've picked up the goal that they wanted us to uh, to pick up from these four games. Our shot to conversion rate should be decent so far. It's just the uh, the average rating that's killing us off right now. But fingers crossed, we could do quite well in this game against Gillingham. As you'll be able to see, coming into it, we're playing in a four four two again alongside Billy Painter, starting Billy Painter this time, rather than uh, rather than having to uh, to play with Jefferson for a little while so fingers crossed we can get something out of this game as well at home again closing down pressing the close down button keeps oh my god how has that not gone in that is a phenomenal strike off the inside the post across the goal line and somehow doesn't find the following side net or the opposite side netting it's ridiculous hopefully we can clear from this corner and get them on the breakaway Win that header, please. Away we go. Come on, then. I'll call for it. Come deep. Right, I'm going to give and go, 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 give and go. I'm running. I'm sprinting, Billy. Switch it. Go on, give it a big Will Smith. Across the goalkeeper. Oh, I can't get these across the goalkeeper shots. He's just going straight at the goalkeeper every time. I'm going to call for it again. He's tried to find me. We're going to try and win the header and can't. And Gillingham are going to clear it. That is a lovely ball through. We'll try and steal in at the back post if we can. Calling for a cross. In it comes. Oh, with a header. Fantastic finish. That's our first headed goal as a professional footballer. Let's give it a cheeky bit of calm down. It's all about us, boys. I want to see a replay of that. I'm not really too sure how we were able to win the header because as I was trying to peel off towards the back post, my guy kind of looked away from the ball and then uh, just turned his attentions back towards it. Great leaping header. Powerful header into the back of the net. We'll see a slow-mo here. Up we go behind the defender, over the top of him and into the back of the net. That's 1-0 Sheffield United. It's done well. I'm going to call for it. We're going to give it a whack from the edge of the box. Oh, that wasn't far away. Sorry if you heard my phone go off in the background there, but that was not far away from that near post. Great connection. Just cut across the ball a little bit too much. Keeper was confident, but that was a matter of inches. Could be in again. Billy Painter. Come on, whip it. Oh, I'm offside. Now whip it. He's done so. I'm going to try and flick that on to the guy at the back. And then try and get it back. On the left foot, can't quite find that near post, just didn't quite have the angle. Our left foot isn't as good as it could be just yet, so uh, that was unfortunate. Decent flick on, and then to get the ball back, but I just couldn't dig it out of my feet good enough.
So it's 1-0 at half time and despite having 85% pass accuracy and a goal to our name we only have a 6.6 .6 rating. I went up to a 7.2 after we scored the goal and literally since then I've not put a foot wrong with a pass. I've been constantly in position. I'll be holding LB and the, the opposition will be in control of the ball the other end of the pitch. And it's just knocking my rating down slowly over time. I genuinely don't see how that's fair if I'm constantly in position. And uh, there's nothing I can do to influence the play. Uh, so unfortunately, unless you guys have any sort of suggestions, this average rating thing just isn't going to work for us, to be completely honest. Because it's it's unfairly... Like, what, what have I done there? It's gone down from a 6.7 to a 6.6. .6, and now I've gone back up to a 6.7. I don't understand how this how this rating... And down to a 6.6 .6 again. I've not done anything. I'm just in position, holding LB, walking about. This rating, match rating thing, makes no sense to me whatsoever. He's got a man far side. Trying to offer the option back the other way, if I possibly can. He's done well. I'm going to try and give it a dig with the left foot. Probably should have passed that. Oh, we've done well to get the tackle in. And have a shot, son. Tame shot. Awful from you, Hill. Although we've won it back. We've won it back. I'm going to try a step over and a turn inside. And another shot. And a oh, yes. That is all about us, boys. That finish was gorgeous. Not the celebration I wanted to do. But nonetheless, lovely step over and turn inside. I thought that extra little touch had done you know, too much with it. And I thought I was going to get away from it. But we were able to get this shot in. It would be nice to see it from a decent camera angle. I'm not too sure whether this will show it. It's that touch there I thought was too heavy. And the guy came back across to me. I didn't skip that, by the way. Just did it for me. But nonetheless, it's Sheffield United 2. Gillingham 0. We are making the difference in these games right now. So we take a 2-0 win from our second game. A 1-0 win where we made the difference. And a 2-0 win where we made the difference. Three goals for us in this episode. Two, point, two points, two games, two wins, six points. And it's been us. We have made the difference in this team right now. We're definitely doing very, very well indeed. I don't understand. I don't understand why it's given me a 7.4. It says ball retention. Possession one lost. I've lost the possession ten times. I haven't done that. That has to be as a team, surely. I've made 88% of passes, only failed one pass the entire game. How can I have lost possession ten times. That's not that's not my fault, is it? I don't understand. We've scored two goals. We've, uh, we've got a 7.4 rating, but we've got points on the board, which is the most important thing, and we've been growing as a pro. So one thing I might want to add into this series, because we've done very, very well, not necessarily got the match rating, but we've scored a lot of goals, and uh, you know we've progressed quite nicely, is... If I click the right sticking, can I... Oh, how do you get to the... I don't know how to get to it. But uh, <laughs> if I go out... Can you do it from here? Let's have a look. Uh, what I'm trying to find is the uh, EA Sports Football Club. Let me save it and back out. What I might want to do is, you know, to help us get along on the uh, on the growth front, is as a reward for performing well. Oh, I saved it rather than exiting and saving. As a reward for performing well, can I... Um, I think I may have overwritten my... Atletico Madrid career mode series there. I'll have to uh, I have to check that. I've literally just absolutely panicked. I actually have just overwritten my Atletico Madrid career mode save with my player. Um Wow, well today is Sunday. I've got videos recorded of the Atletico Madrid career mode all the way up until next Friday. So, if there is a way for me to retrieve that save, please let me know in the comments. If I've completely fucked myself over, then... <sighs> you may have witnessed the most retarded mistake by a YouTuber in the history of all time. So... Oh, God, what have I done? Well, <sighs> Atletico Madrid career mode problems aside, what I was hoping to do or ask, get your feedback on, is perhaps getting pro boosts as, you know, rewarding myself for putting in good performances, etc. And maybe having, uh, you know, just little little boosts to, uh, to our overall stats for, you know, performing well. So a shooting boost or a ball control boost or a passing boost, etc. Let me know what you think of, uh, of, of that idea. And uh, if you do give me support for that, then I will implement that for the next episode. 
Um, I'm going to ask on Twitter now as well about the Atletico Madrid thing, but I'm I'm legitimately panicking, so uh, hopefully that isn't gone, but I fear the worst. But that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like. If you could be so kind, that'd be absolutely superb. And, um, well, 